Hi, this is Steve and Daryl from Conductive Labs, and we're doing some videos about the MRCC for an update, and we're on our third video. So let's have a look at modifiers and mappers. So this is our routing screen, and we saw in an earlier video that it's showing us we're routed from one to one, and uh, we can do our filters here, turn them off and on, but down here we have our modifier slots, and we'll be able to load in, this is uh, still work in progress, but we'll be able to load in velocity and channel maps, and we'll be able to have modifiers like a uh, split keyboard uh, and layer as well as uh, arpeggiator parameters. So let's get a uh, jump on it and head on over to the mappings. Uh, so, whoops. <laughs> Here we go. So the first mapping is velocity mapping. You can see it says velocity right there. And what this is showing is um, that we get to choose a source channel and a destination channel, as well as how to map our velocity. Um, so in this case, it's mapping the, the lower velocity to a higher velocity. Um, we've got five pages, so I'll just toggle through them quickly. So you can see that we can map up to down or down to up. Uh, we can go from low to, to a spread out or vice versa. So we have all kinds of, you, you can set up any one of these by coming over here and rotating on the number and it will change the inbound and the outbound uh, mappings for velocity. We'll come up to the submenu and go over to channel mapping and as you can see you can set the in and out channel mapping to anything you'd like. You have four mappings per page and or per, per, uh, per mapping channel and then each one of those can get set to a routing, an input and output routing. S the same with the velocity. And if we go over to the CCs, it's similar to velocity where you can choose, again, your, your source channel and your source CC and your destination channel and your destination CC, and then you can, you can scale or map the, the CC values. We can also go over to the modifiers, and this is really fun. So this actually will allow us to do keyboard split and layering. So you can define uh, up to five um, regions in which your keys will pass the note values. Um, in this case, we're going from D sharp one to C sharp five. And if we go down to the next one, it is A one to A sharp two, which is a small range, but we could change that. So let's go over here and we'll expand that. And so you can see that those are gonna be, uh, there's the big overlay on the range. If I come down, uh, go back up to, first page I can go down and I can expand that range so if I use a uh, modifier split and layer one and two you'll see that as I play the lower range of my keyboard for this one it will be passed but if I play the upper range on this one it will be passed and in the mid both synthesizers will be playing simultaneous you have six um, six layers that you can modify and you can add and subtract the layers to different routings any way you'd like. So it makes it really easy to pretty much create, you know, splits and layers, multiple ones, up to six of them. So it's really super cool. Uh, we also have this idea of polychaining like we had on a noodler. So if you turn that on, it'll, uh, it'll send uh, the notes to the adjacent synth for every note you play. And it's not like splitting and layering, but it's a quick way uh, that you can define how the... Um, the polychaining will work. And last but not least for oops, for today's demonstration, we can show the uh, oops, we can show the uh, arpeggiate or the arpeggiation parameters. So we have five arpeggiation slots. You could change the mode. So in this case, it'll be up or down or ping pong. Uh, or random or the order that you play them. You can choose the number of octaves that it'll work on the gate length. Uh, we'll have uh, six preset rhythms. Um, this is the clock um, port that you're uh, getting clock in on. And if you go all the way back to zero, you'll use the internal clock. And then you do clock divs and destination ports. So where it's going to go and the channel dest on the destination. And down here, you can actually turn on. So if you don't have a keyboard, you can actually turn on and off the notes. This is still work in progress. It'll probably look like a keyboard when we're done, but so you don't, if you don't have a keyboard plugged in, you can actually set up an appreciation just on the, on this thing all by itself. Uh, 
Let's go back up to the modifiers page. Uh, that's all I have on the modifiers done. But on the main page, let's see, we also have tools. So we will be doing a save and load on the tools and we'll have a clock settings, LFOs, MIDI scroll so you can actually watch MIDI stuff go by so you can monitor things. And then some helper functions allow you to play notes and play notes to all the ports so you can kind of debug what's plugged into what. And then finally, the last screen, we have settings uh, one and two. And these are just stuff I scribbled in there for the short term, but things like dimming the LEDs and um, and having light change, uh, light themes and some uh, a sleep setting and things like that. And that's a quick preview of, uh, well, the third preview of all the stuff that we're doing on the MRCC.